Would you like to know the story of mother's favorite fish? We'll stick around to the end. Daniel here, wishing you a happy, happy new year. And a special thank you to those who participated live in the special four-hour prayer vigil with Korea. Great content. Hopefully you can find the recording if you missed it. You know, the last three years haven't been easy, but I do feel a new wind, a new energy going forward. Mother recently told me that in America, our primary, primary goal is to bring the heart of the American leadership, the leaders of this country, to Heavenly Parent. And the strategy, actually, is to grow in number of those we can count among us. So growth is about internal growth, but also external growth. You know, over the last six months, we should take note. The first three months since the leadership change, we really focused on expansion of the Chonchim Wan. And I'm really grateful to Dr. ki Kim for his leadership and all those who have supported this. Leaders across the country, we went from under 20, I don't know, maybe 15 Chonchim Wans to over 60 all over the country and growing. This means every community has this special prayer room dedicated by Heavenly Parent and True Mother directly for you to pray. And we've been getting great testimonies from those who have been attending prayer in the Chon Chim Wong. So that needs to continue. And now the last three months, I was asking the pastors to really focus on visitation, meeting our members, visiting our members in the homes or calling you. And so hopefully many of you have already spent some time with your local leadership. And if not, don't worry, it's coming. This also should continue. So spiritual care and relational care. These have been the first two major initiatives that we've focused on. And right there in the middle, last October, we had mother here in America, in the flesh, spending time with us really for the first time since the whole pandemic, right? So thank you, True Mother, for coming to visit us. And she paid special attention to the ministers and to the youth, right? And so mother was so happy, so happy and felt but that was a great victory that she was able to then bring back to the leadership in Korea and beyond. And so where are we going next? Well, a quick reminder, I want you to attend the January 2nd TribeNet call. It's open to everyone. And it's really going to be focusing on where we're going with the youth. Because this new energy, this new wind has to be led with our young people. Supported with all generations, but especially driven by our young people. So it's gonna be a totally new energy and we're gonna be doing it together. Okay, look guys, I just got back from Korea. I went to Korea with our business team to report to True Mother on how we are really taking the bull by the horns and facing all of the various crises and challenges, you know, enough, right? We're gonna ride that 2024 dragon to victory. We're gonna make whatever decisions we gotta to make to make sure we win. And that's really the spirit of the team. And I'm proud to report that to you. I'm very proud to go to Korea just recently and share that kind of heart of gratitude and determination with our true mother. So we're gonna to work together with mother, with Korean team, with Japan, America. And we're gonna make sure that we protect the incredible foundation that our true parents and our precious members over the years have built. So thank you for your continued prayers and support for that. But, you know, on this trip to Korea, okay, there's many great experiences, but I want to share with you briefly about a special lunch that we had with True Mother at the new Aqua Garden Cafe. Now, this is a cafe with about 300 seats. It's in the Magnolia building, the building that you pass on the way down into Chongpyeong. Food and coffee and brioche snacks, but it is like you're walking into a nature garden, an aquarium garden. There's all these very well-built aquariums lining the walls and centerpiece aquariums in the rooms with beautiful fish, massive, I think over 70 different varieties of fish. Okay, so you get a coffee or a meal and you sit down next to a beautiful, it's not just like a fish tank, it's like a wall of fish everywhere. You go there with your spouse, with your family. You just sit there and you relax, right? So mother loves this aqua garden cafe. So she invited us there to eat a wonderful steak lunch together with her. Quite a small lunch table. And I noticed that mother was wearing a beautiful necklace. This is the necklace that we just gave her when she came to America in October last year, okay? We gave her this beautiful opal necklace. It's encased in this beautiful gold and diamond frame so that you can look at the opal from all angles. And this opal was actually harvested in Las Vegas, which is quite rare. 
and it took at least six million years for this opal to be formed. And when I gifted it to true mother in Las Vegas, I mentioned, mother, this opal, this gem has been waiting for you, the only begotten daughter, for six million years. Okay, mother smiled, she laughed, everybody laughed, everybody thought that was really precious, and it really is precious. When we went to Korea, we all sat down at this Aqua Garden Cafe lunch, and I commented on how beautiful you look today, mother, and you have such a beautiful necklace, because she was wearing our necklace. And she said, she said, that's right, I wore it for you. Okay, so yes, she loves our necklace. And to, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, to the uh, future of the entire world unification movement and to the New Yorker Hotel. Sumi, Sumi, Sumi. Sumi, Sumi. And then we had lunch together, sharing our reflections about our trip. And Mike Farris shared, and Sung Shim also shared. And we heard from some other leaders. But the, the atmosphere of this lunch, okay, was just very light. Mother didn't want to get into tough reports or anything like that. She wanted us to enjoy the Aqua Garden Cafe and the delicious food together. And at a certain point, it was coming to the end, and there was a silence in the conversation. And so Suho Kim, right? Reverend Dong Kim's son, Suho Kim was translating for me. And I said, Suho, what do you think if I ask mother to give me the Chinese characters for my name, Damien? And uh, he said, well, you know, I don't know, do you want to? Because if you ask her to give you Chinese characters for your name, she might just give you a new family name, be careful. And I thought, really, do you think so? So I plucked up the courage and there was a, there was a lull in the conversation. So I, I used this kind of as a joke almost. And I said, mother, you know, I'm told by my Korean friends that you should have the Chinese character for your name, even if it's a Western name. Because if you ever get printed up in a Chinese newspaper, they'll give you their version. So I was explaining this to mother, there was some little lies and giggles going on. And then so I said, Mother, what do you think? I, you know, I, I, I should choose Chinese characters, but I feel like it's maybe better to ask Mother to choose for me. And so Mother was listening to all of this and Mrs. Wonju McDivitt commented on what she thinks my Chinese character should be and a few other people commented. And then sure enough, just as Suho predicted, Mother stopped the conversation and gave me a new name. She said, you should change, you know, your family name. Your family name should be Han Mi. Han Mi. So this Han can be understood to be Han for Korea and Mi can be beautiful or America. So it can be Korea and America, or it can also be Han, the, the, the name, mother's name, Han, Hak Cha Han. So Han Mi, Han Mi. So that's our new family name. So I'm not sure, is it Damien Han Mi Dunkley or Damien Dunkley Han Mi, uh, Damien Aaron Han Mi Dunkley. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's how I greeted mother in our new year greeting, Damien Han Mi. So I hope mother got the, the humor there. So that was interesting. So we were asked to sing a song. I'll take your hand, give my whole life. And she sat there wearing that beautiful necklace with her eyes closed, right. just listening to the music. So I sang, Mike Farris sang, Sung Shim sang. We all did our best to entertain mother. And so this kind of beautiful family moment. And then after the meal was finished, mother took us to another special room with the longest tank. This, this is a really long fish tank. And there's these beautiful ornamental rocks and things. And she sat us down. She said, sit down with me. And Mike and I and Sung Shim sat right beside mother in front of the fish tank. And all the fish came to greet mother. And that's where mother said, here, I want you to open an aqua garden cafe in the New Yorker, if possible. And when you sit down to take your coffee or your meal, you sit in, in front of the fish tank and you let the fish come to you, and you sit, and you breathe, and you become peaceful. And mother said, if you do this, it will heal you. You will be healed. And she said, you know what my favorite fish is? My favorite fish is the red fish. And we're sitting there right beside her, and all these fish are coming around. And mother's pointing at the red fish, and she said, every time I come and sit down, 
the red fish comes to greet me. So that is the story of mother's favorite fish. That's right. So brothers and sisters, happy new year. It's the year of the dragon and that has a very auspicious meaning. Go ahead and Google it. In the meantime, God bless you, your family, your community. Looking forward to seeing you in your community soon. Let's have an amazing 2024. Join us on the Tribe Net call January 2nd, 8 p.m. Eastern, I believe. You're going to hear from the youth themselves some exciting development. We're going to hear from Den Thieu Leary, our new YSP president. And God knows what's going to happen. That's the truth. God knows what's going to happen. God knows what God wants to happen. The question is, are we going to be in the right place at the right time, showing up ready to participate? I believe so. So, brothers and sisters, thank you all. Big shout out to all of our precious leaders across the country. Thank you for your precious and holy work in the last year. Let's march forward together, all of our blessed families and members and friends, all of you. I love you. Let's have an amazing year. And so when we can greet True Mother next year with our New Year greeting, we're going to have an abundance, abundance of stories and victories to share. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.